Good morning. Today's the day. It is 4.30 a.m. and I am about to go catch my flight to Montana. I can't believe that it is here. It's finally here. I've been planning for this for over a year. <laughs> My trip started off with a flight to Chicago where I met up with two of my friends I'll be hiking the trail with. Look who I found! Ah. Tripod and peg leg. Oh, we're on our way to Glacier. First steps in Montana. We got a room. We're working on a ride. That's the update. We're all really tired. We've been up since 3 a.m. Prep work. Gotta get ready for a trail. <laughs> we are staying at the Chalet Inn. We just got here. We're in Whitefish right now. Um, the train station's just up the way. We need to go to East Glacier, which is our next stop. So this is like the perfect location. But look how pretty this is. Look at these mountains. I'm so excited. This place reminds me of Alaska a lot. Just beautiful mountain vibes. We naturally gravitated to McDonald's for, for lunch. We all had a list of things we couldn't fly with, so we needed to pick them up before starting a trail. Luckily, there's a really good outfitter in Whitefish, and then we checked into Whoa. our room. <laughs> this is <laughs> nice. Family style. Heck yeah. We got the family size room and had five CDT hikers stay over where we organized our food and figured out logistics for the start of the trail. Good morning, it's day two in Montana and um, we got our resupply together. We're gonna send up a little resupply at Many Glacier, which is mile 30. So we only have to carry two days of food starting and then we put like three or four days in um, for the rest back to East Glacier. But today, my friend that works in Glacier is about to pick us up and we're gonna do a electric bike ride in West Glacier. And then I think we're gonna stay at her RV tonight, get the train to East Glacier tomorrow. So there's a lot of things going on. It's a little chaotic. Definitely glad we got here a few days early before we're, we're gonna start. Um, there still is a chance that the snow could be a little high, but we'll see. I wanna give it a try. Can't believe I'm here. Let's get the day started. I was able to find you all. So. Yeah, thank you for picking us up. I'm mm -hmm. <laughs> like, uh oh, oh no. that's never <laughs> got some. Okay, so we can't get a walk-up permit until the day before or the day of that we decide to start hiking. So we can only have four people on our permit and four people can only stay at the campsite. Ranger, of course, said that there's still a lot of snow on the passes. People that are going through right now typically have all the snow gear and snow experiences. I don't have any snow experience and I have only micro spikes. I don't have an ice axe with me. So I'm gonna just see you know what happens but we got this camping guide so we're gonna look at it and try to figure it out yeah the logistics have proven to be a little confusing starting in glacier where we've mostly all of us have started the at and the pct and it's really easy to just kind of walk up and get started hopefully at the end of this video i will have like a how to do um and it will help people who want to get started but i don't know we're still working on it Bear spray is a must on the CDT. Pro tip, ask the hotel or an outfitter if they have extra because tourists tend to leave the spray when they can't fly home with it and the places that have a ton will give it to you for free. So we saved $60 okay. doing We're that. getting a bear spray top. <laughs> bear spray is used like insect repellent. You don't spray yourself and you don't spray your equipment. After stopping by the ranger station, we ended up going on an epic e-bike tour up the Going to the Sun Road. I made a whole separate video about this adventure, but our plan all along was to get to Montana a few days early to explore and have time to get a permit and logistics figured out. I think we totally nailed it with those plans and it really turned out to be a perfect start to our CDT adventure. 
Whew. We have been traveling around for the past two days. Now I'm gonna focus on getting ready for getting on the trail. A couple things that I'm gonna be focusing on today is eating some good meals since we are gonna be setting off tomorrow and also getting hydrated. And that's where the sponsor of today's video comes in. I wanna give a special thanks to Element. Element is an electrolyte drink mix that doesn't have any weird ingredients and it's got the perfect scientifically proven ratio of sodium, potassium, and magnesium that are gonna keep you hydrated. I know when I travel, I can tend to not drink enough water and become a little dehydrated. So I'm gonna pour me up an element. I've got the raspberry salt right here. I'm gonna mix it in my water and be sipping on this for the rest of the day. Pour it in here. so good. Or if you'd like to try Element for yourself, you can use my link, which can be found in my description, drinklmnt.com slash Kelly Hayes. And with any drink mix purchase, you're going to get a free sample pack with all of the best flavors. So you could try all the Element flavors for yourself. Good morning. <laughs> Woke up at the RV. Um, we have a plan. We are going to go to the ranger station today because you can only go the day before or the day of for a walk-up permit to hike through Glacier. So we're gonna go today, get a permit secured. We have a plan uh, for getting through Glacier. We gotta go to the ranger station and see if what we have planned is actually possible. And then we're gonna take the train tomorrow. We're in West Glacier now. We're gonna go to East Glacier. Train leaves at 8 a.m. We should get to East Glacier around nine and we'll start hiking tomorrow we'll have to figure out a shuttle but all that will fall into place once we get there we are one step closer of getting on trail and i'm so ready um after yesterday we did that bike ride it is so pretty i can't wait to be out there hiking so this morning we're just getting our bags together we're gonna go into west glacier hit up the ranger station i think i'm gonna rent a paddle board and go out on lake mcdonald and we're also gonna get some breakfast and some things. So yeah, let's get the day started. All right, let's try this again. I would like to add that this year you could only get permits at either West Glacier, Many Glacier, or St. Mary's. This caused more of a logistical mess for hikers because typically we would get the permit at Two Medicine, which is close by the hiker hostel. Luckily, we were in West Glacier and could get all this figured out before heading out to the trail. Okay guys, after a little while, we figured out our permit. And this is the map that you use to plan out your trip. It makes a lot more sense once you get here. But um, we're starting at Chief, and then we're doing nine miles to this ELF campsite. We'll stay there the second night. The third night, we'll go to Many Glacier. I think this is 16 miles. But we're going to stay two nights there just because of the way that the permits work out. Only four people can stay at these campsites, so if they're full, you can't camp there. Or you either have to go further. So our options were like only camp one night here, do a 25 and a 25, but in these sections there's passes that still have snow on them. So we wanted to give ourselves more time and do only about 15 miles because we don't know how bad the snow is going to be. So we'll stay two nights in Many Glacier, then we'll stay at this REY, which is around 15 or 16 miles. And then we'll stay at REH, and then we'll go to OLD. And then we do 18 into East Glacier, and we're officially out of Glacier National Park. And here's our mileage breakdown. Really happy with how our permit turned out. Um, we got some good rangers, and we are set and ready to go. Oh, cool. After getting our permit date set, we were required to watch a backcountry safety video, mostly about all the ways that you can get killed by grizzlies. Do not carry any food stuffs attractants into the tent area uh, that will attract a bear 
We also like to be give you what I call the three P rule. We have pit toys, and we have what, we, what I call the three P rule. The only thing that goes in the pit toilet is pee, poop, and paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no food scraps or anything else. No. And then Tripod signed our permit, and we were good to go. All right, now that we got our permit figured out, we are gonna get a train from West Glacier to East Glacier tomorrow, and then we're working on a ride from East Glacier up to Chief Mountain where we'll start the hike. But we're all just sitting in Apgar Village, hanging out. I just got myself a huckleberry shake and editing some videos. Start the trail tomorrow, yay. Oh, it's cool. It's huckleberry everything here. Everything is huckleberry. All right, guys. The night before we start the CDT, we just got our stuff all packed up and sorted, and I'm ready. I'm ready to go. We have a shuttle lined up to get to Chief, so we should be on trail no later than like one or two. Thank you so much for watching your first few days getting to Glacier and our whole permit thing and I don't know what all is going to be in this video but tomorrow the adventure officially begins and we can't wait to start it so see you guys tomorrow.